Hi everyone, welcome back to the Only Shade Drops channel. Today I am going to react to the Supernova 2023 finalists, the live versions of their songs. I already did a video for the studio versions, and now it's time for the live versions. We know lives can make or break a song. I sadly lost two songs of my top three. In it's uh, Catherine Miller and Just my second and third that got eliminated. Also, I was shocked that in Spo failed. But apparently, their live were not good. So I'm going to listen to the finalists. The order I'm listening I'm listening to is the running order of the semi-final, and the first song there is Love Vibes by Arthur Hati. I didn't really like it in studio, but let's hope the live was good. Here we go. His vocals are not bad. The song though is really nothing. The hell is the staging? What is the staging all, all about? I don't get it. Okay, I remember why I dislike this. The la 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 vibes was just annoying in my opinion, and it still is I'm sorry I am just feeling quite bored and annoyed by this one it's just there's just nothing really happening in this song staging isn't good his singing is alright but it's, it's just not enough okay so um, this one was just not good enough like yeah it's just some song that would obviously add a bottom two in the Eurovision semi-final and it's clearly not winning the national final so yeah let's move on to the next song next song is Tricky by Alice Hajima I remember really liking this in studio let's hope the live will be good okay this starts well this is good, this is just good stuff. The staging, I'm not sure, but it's not bad. Yeah, okay, this is just a good performance. It's just good. I, I, I don't think it would be a sure qualifier in Eurovision, but at least it would have a fighting chance. Yeah, this is just good. This is so catchy. I really like this one. Very catchy, funny song. I I think at least it would have a fighting chance in Eurovision for the qualifier. Uh, it's still hard to qualify with this, but I think it's just not dead on arrival. That's the thing. It has a chance to make it. Okay. I, I really like this one way more than first one. Let's move on to the third song. Song number three is When It All Falls by Toms Kalderowskis. Let's go. Wait. He's actually performing it quite well so far. He's a good singer. He sings this very well and with quite some emotions. Uh, the song is yeah, it deserves a much better song. It sounds like some kind of song the UK can send. Really. I think he's a good singer and deserves a much better song. Yeah, okay. This man is a good singer and a good performer. He just, just deserves a much better song than this one. This song is just there. And he managed to make it sound quite nice, so kudos to him. This sounds like a song that would end up 13, 14 in the semi-final. Sadly, so I don't think it can qualify. I think it's a pretty hard year for Latvia. Let's uh, move on to the next song, song number 4. Next song is You Said by Avenir. Uh, what the actual hell? This is the absolutely worst one so far. Oh god. 
I really like nothing about this one. I am sorry, but like neither the staging nor the song or the vocals or something like really nothing here. Um, sounds like a song that would just end up last with one or two points in the semi-final. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, this. I, uh, first of all, I just don't like it at all, personally. Then I think in Eurovision it would just be dead on arrival, like some sure last in semi-final. N yeah, there's just nothing I like about it. Let's just move on to the next song. Next song is Forever by Marcus Riva. Gosh, for how long will he try? He will just try as long as he can get into the contest. He won't stop until he participates, right? Can it be his year? Let's see. Uh, this is actually not bad. I'm sorry, uh, this is not bad at all. It's actually quite alright. I'm, I'm actually enjoying this one. I mean, it's not something fantastic. But it's clearly not bad at all. It's nice. Yes, it's dead on arrival in Eurovision. And I don't think it's winning the national final, but I'm enjoying it. It's quite nice. This man really never gives up, right? And I appreciate this with him. It's, it just tries and tries every year until he will get to participate. And this one... This song was actually quite nice. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I know it's hopeless in Eurovision, but it was just c a cute song and a nice performance. Let's move on to the next song, but I quite like this one. Next song is Let Me Go by Ave. I like the staging of the performance. It's emotional. Yeah, I, I like this one live. She she manages to sing it and perform it very well with a lot of emotion. I wish her song was better because she's really a great singer and performer. Really, I wish the song was better. I love her emotion when she sings the chorus. Okay, this is getting me. Uh, her passion emotion and singing are yeah uh, okay this got me okay I, l I really liked it uh, <laughs> she's such a good singer and performer and the emotion when she sang this is just especially the chorus yeah, yeah this this really got me <sighs> I don't know if it's competitive enough for Eurovision, but it's such such a well performed and emotional song. Yeah, it was not on my radar and the studio versions, but live it really got me. Let's move on to the next song. Next song is Hush by Patricia. I've heard it's one of the favorites to win, so I'm quite curious. I don't really remember it in studio. She's a good performer. The song, I'm not sure. And the, I don't like the instrumental at all. Okay, she's a very good performer, but her song is not good in my opinion. Yeah, not a good song, but a great performance, so I would rank this middle way. I just can't stand the instrumental in the verses and the chorus. Really, I can't stand it. Okay, so this is basically the example of a great singer, great performer, but not having the right song. I... Okay, song I don't like, I can't stand instrumental. Performance was very good though, so I, I would rank this middle of road. <sighs> um, I wish she had a better song, but I think... This might be one of the few qualifying chances Latvia has. I can see this 
and oh there was just some playing right now going I've heard the sound I can see Latvia place ninth or tenth in the semi-final if they send this they might have a shot to qualify with this song let's move on to the next one next song is fake love by Rome why do all the great singers have some middle of the road songs here Okay, this is maybe better than middle of the road. The chorus is good. Uh, I remember this now. Yeah, it's exactly that the verses are quite not good. The verses are not good, but the chorus really slaps. So yeah, if only had better verses, the song would be really great. And he's a very good singer and performer. Honestly, Latvia has very good singers and performers, but just not the songs. Songs are missing there. Yeah, okay, this is actually very nice. But it's a good song. Yeah, it, it gets better live. And I think this can qualify Neurovision. Oh, yeah, okay, this is good. It's a good performer. The song is quite nice, if it gets a little revamp for the verses, it will be a short qualifier. But will it win the national final? I don't know. Uh, okay, he's very good singer and performer. The song is good and it has some good qualifying chances, I think. This might be a good option for Latvia. I think there are only two songs left now, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, next song is You To Hold Me. If you watched the studio version video, you know this was my absolute favorite in studio. I hope it will be good life. Please be good. You know, it's, n it's not perfect, but it's just, yeah, it's beautiful. And yeah, there is some kind of vulnerability in her voice, and it it makes it's the fact she doesn't hit some notes, but this vulnerability in her voice makes the song even more emotional. I feel okay. This is not qualifying in your vision, but this I love it. And it, yeah, the live is not as good as studio, but it's still very good song. I really wish the live would be better. But yeah, this is just very good. I'm quite okay. I'm quite sad it didn't have a very good live performance, but it, it's still a very good song. I really like it. And yeah, based on live performances, I think. I think Ave is becoming my favorite with uh, Let Me Go. It's really her life really got me. So yeah, Louise, I I hope the life will be better, but she's still very young. She has time to come back and all. I don't think it's winning. I don't think it could qualify in Eurovision, but it's a very good song and I'm really. Uh, I really really like it and I hope she will be back soon now let's move on to the last song I think okay last song is apparently the big favorite to win Aya by Sudden Lights I remember thinking it was quite interesting in studio so let's discover it okay this is very well staged okay this is just the the song for Latvia that has the biggest chances to make it to the final. It's well performed, really, and very well staged. It's really nice stuff. I'm not a huge fan of it, I quite appreciate it. But I know this it, Latvia, if they want to have a shot to qualify, have to send this one. Okay, this is just so well staged and performed I think this would 
be a safe qualifier in Eurovision. Okay, this is very good stuff. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I can really appreciate that song. It did well perform, very well staged, and I think the best option for Latvia to be back in the final. So, if I had to make some kind of ranking there, I think Aves Live is the one who got me the most. But yeah, I just love Louis' song so much. So either Ave or Luis is number one, then uh, Tricky by Alice Hajima, which I think was very good. Rome, uh, Rome, I think was good. Sudden Lights, Marcus Riva. These are the ones uh, I really appreciated. Tom's and Patricia, I, I wish they had better songs, really. And then we have Arthur's and 24 Avenia, which I just didn't like at all. So, in fact, Latvia has some quite decent uh, final, for my taste. But to qualify for the Eurovision final, they have to send either Aya, Aya I think is their biggest qualifying chance, or Raum, or Patricia. These are the th three that can qualify. Maybe Tricky could have a shot, but I'm not sure. So yeah. That was my reaction video to live performances of Supernova 2023. We're going to have the results in four days, yeah. Super Saturday. February 11 will really be some big day. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, put a little like, don't forget to subscribe and join our Discord channel. Link is in the description below. See you there. Bye bye.